Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my Patreon powered reaction to the 14th episode of Akame Ga Kill. So, last episode, the big thing was the appearance of some danger beasts which resemble humans. And we pretty much found out that they were used to be humans, but through what we assume to be the mad scientist's experimentation, they became what they are. The theory is that the mad scientist created them and somebody else let them loose. A person that we did get a brief glimpse of, like, hiding behind a tree or something. We had Tatsumi bonding with Susano over by a waterfall. That was nice. Of course, we also had this scene where Tatsumi left his fly down, which caused most of the other characters to point and laugh at him. But, you know, Akame did seem a little bit concerned. Like, she was willing to stare at his crotch to make sure his did never happen again, which was really kind of her to offer, really. And, yeah, both Night Raid and Jaegers were pretty much doing the same thing with taking them out because it was a thing they needed to get done, regardless of what side you're on. But, yeah, the real meat of the episode was the, uh, or I guess the highlight of the episode, I should say, was Tatsumi having a little reunion with Esdeath when he was out hiking with Lub. And, yeah, that should be pretty fun this next episode. So, let's get into it. As usual, there'll be no audio or footage of the anime used in the reaction for copyright reasons. There is a timer in the upper left-hand corner, and subs below may help you follow along. Let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. At the very least, it's a reunion she's happy about. <laughs> He probably is not going to come back anytime soon. Hmm. One thing I did forget to mention is that Lub, we did get some flashbacks of him and learning about his motivations with joining Night Raid. I mean, nothing, nothing too surprising there. But yeah, definitely getting a backstory flashback of Lub, and then soon followed by him being alone. Doesn't make me think he could be the next one to go. And we're back into it. <laughs> That's pretty much what he's doing as well. But she doesn't know he's part of Night Raid. <laughs> Of course. I mean, I fail to see the problem. I mean... <laughs> she doesn't even know that he has a relic, does she? What even is this? <laughs> I 
It really is amazing how she can shift gears so quickly. But yeah, as I figured, we're going to get more of him. <laughs> I'll escort you to the torture room. If I had to venture a guess, it's a teleportation circle. <laughs> Possibly a relic that did it. Probably a relic that did it. Doesn't look doesn't look like a bad location though. Definitely could have been worse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You don't have to make excuses, that's what you're into. She's up for it. <laughs> oh, wow. She never closed her eyes around her. <laughs> yeah, she had a much more fun test in mind. And yet, none of them can bring someone back to life. I actually was kind of wondering where he kept that. Well, it's an island. <laughs> it's definitely not a bad place for it. <laughs> Back to the important matters. <laughs> and he just had to ruin the dates. Well, as death is very powerful, so probably. <laughs> Weiss. Well, there's another word wise, it's because of Ruby. <laughs> Well, Tatsumi actually knows more about this thing. He broke the ice. Yeah, she is definitely overpowered.
<laughs> wow. And then their life on the island together begins. And Tatsumi can't really run away this time, <laughs> even if he wanted to. Don't know why he would want to. <laughs> and now you're alone together on the island, at night, on the beach. Yeah, that's the important thing. Does he have much of a choice? <laughs> He's really not. No, I heard she could just make a giant ice bridge to land. That would make sense. Something that powerful has to have limitations of some sort. But what's the fun in that? <laughs> and then he became an assassin. This is a perfect chance to pump her. I have not. Just slit his throat. Oh wow, no kidding. I mean, I personally wouldn't want to eat it, but... I'm sure it causes great pain, but it's not affecting me, so... Just casually pry its eyes out. <laughs> A natural killer. Man, it might not be a problem for you.
Yeah, as soon as she said that, I kind of figured that's where that was going. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're similar enough, really. <laughs> A tattoo? And what other not compatible? <laughs> yeah, I imagine it wouldn't be. <laughs> I mean, if there was that much of a risk with this relic, it does kind of make sense it would be really powerful. <laughs> Might as well. Not like anybody else wants to drink it. Yeah, there's no way it wouldn't affect her mentally, at least a little bit. <laughs> Mild impulses. So you can't even steal the relic from her. <laughs> yeah, that's always been my thing. Yeah, you were really out of your league to begin with. He has a scar on his face. 
Am I watching Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah, it opens right as she runs off. Yeah. You don't know where that's going to take you, to be honest. Well, you've returned. Oh, okay. Uh, poor as death. Which I thought the second time you met would be as enemies, but... You know, now that I think about it, what exactly was the point of him sending them to the island? If he was just going to bring them back, like, a day later. Looking forward to next episode. <laughs> Kill the religious organization. <laughs> but yeah, that was the 14th episode of A Comet Got Kill. And yeah. So this episode, the bulk of this episode was Tatsumi and Ez Death hanging out together on a tropical island. You know, pretty much a date if you believe as death, which tried to be interrupted by, you know, a giant creature or two, but it was taken care of rather easily. And we also got some flashbacks for as death, get to see her childhood, which, you know, not particularly surprising. She had a very harsh upbringing, so very survival of the fittest kind of deal, where her mother and father were both pretty much killed. Which, in her mind, was because they're weak, so she doesn't feel particularly bad about it. 
And, you know, she was clearly just able to casually do things like carve out um, uh, Danger Peace uh, Beast's eye like it was nothing, like it was the most obvious thing in the world. And we also got to see, learn more about her relic. Apparently it's very different than the other relics. It's not really something you have and wield. It was something she drank that drives most people to insanity. But I guess if you're insane to begin with, you don't really have much to lose. But specifically what drives them insanity is, I guess, the powerful urge to just kill. Because this is Danger Beast blood, and that's what they do. So, they didn't have, that obviously didn't have too much of an effect on As death, but I'm sure it had some effect. Just not enough to, you know, interfer interfere with her life, really. And yeah, no other characters really got much screen time. I mean, we got to see a little bit more of the guy that teleported them, which the show was obviously trying to make us hate him with the scene between him and the one chick, which, you know, I already didn't particularly, particularly didn't like him, so. Although there were definitely are a lot of hateable characters in this show, really no shortage of that, but also likable characters as well, like Akame, and I do like as death, even though she is a bad guy. And even Kurame is pretty cute in her own way. And of course there's also Chelsea. Who I like as well. Who also didn't get much screen time this episode. However, through that preview, we got to see them in bikinis. So, I'm expecting some kind of beach episode or something next one. So, yeah, can't wait for that. Let me know what you thought of the anime. What's that on my reaction in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you can't wait to see me watch the next episode of this anime, you can see it early on Patreon before it goes public on YouTube, if you're watching this soon after this one went public. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.